thing that I'm asked about a lot is some of the wide intervallic uh, diminished and other type of string skipping playing that I do, usually based somewhat around a diminished tonality. I'll do it first in just the basic diminished key. So in B. Okay, and I take the basic diminished concept like that and I expand it out into a lot of different chromaticism and for a lot of real outside type playing. I use a lot of different techniques. Sometimes it's hammer-ons and pull-offs and sometimes it's picking. Like if I'm doing hammer-ons, a lot of times I'll double up on the first couple notes, give it a different kind of sound like this. Okay, slow, that's kind of like this. And then you move around the positions. Each group of six notes, you skip a string, and then you move over to another fret. You know, you can go a half step up or a whole step up. Just try to mix it up and get a real outside kind of sound. Okay, and the thing to remember about that for the stretching is your thumb has to go way around the back of the neck because if your thumb is over here, you'll never be able to do those kind of reaches. You have to really bring your thumb way around at the other side of the neck. Then a lot of the key is, is this first thing. You can't really just bar it and let it sit like a bar and then move it around. You have to uh, work it along with the other fingers and actually pick it up from the G string when you're going over to the E string, and then when you're on the D string, you pick it up and go over to the B string. You can't just bar it. You have to actually... Also, the key with that lick is a certain amount of looseness, but you have to have a certain amount of tension to actually pull the thing off. So it's a, it's a real balance between relaxation and exertion. And uh, it's just something you have to just keep practicing on until you get comfortable with it. The more you do it, the more comfortable you'll get with it. And you can also do that lick uh, picking, it, picking every now and then. You might not want to do it that many times, but it's a great thing to throw in every, every now and then if you want to do something real outside sounding. The thing to remember that is getting the pick over the other string, and then to also pick it in such a way that it really makes a snap, and that gives it a lot of definition. <laughs> Another thing that mixes it up and makes it sound kind of unusual is if you do different groups of notes, like this will be sixes, and then it does a group of nine. So say you're going one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, then you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, six, nine.